guys, welcome to W and L Reviews. Today we're going to be talking, we are going to be talking about three video, three movies, and then I'm going to be talking about another one. The three movies we are going to be talking about today are Alexander's Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, Into the Woods, and Soul. I am going to be talking about The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I'll let my mom start it off with Alexander's Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. I will start and say that the movie is, first off, the title is absolutely silly. So, I'm not going to say it because every time I say it, I end up tripping all over myself. So, <laughs> that's the first thing. But the movie, it stars Steve Carell as the dad and Jennifer Garner as the mom. And it is an absolutely silly day. I won't give away too much if any of you haven't out there haven't seen the movie. Um, if you haven't, I very much recommend it. It's a very, very cute, very family-oriented, uh, very sweet film. Um, it is uh, definitely one for the family, one that I would recommend, and I, I would even recommend it, watching it, you know, again, and I may just do that. Uh, and now I will pass the baton to my daughter and let her tell you what she thought of the movie. I definitely agree that it was very silly, and I really liked that they had Steve Carell as the dad. It worked out very well. I read the book, um, I think it was in the second grade, and I'd say the movie was very accurate to the book. Um, there were, like, a few details that might not have been in there, but wasn't anything super noticeable and I really enjoyed the movie. I think it's definitely a family oriented movie that the entire family could enjoy whether you are older or younger. Um, definitely appropriate and I just think it's really enjoyable and I would definitely recommend it. Next let's talk about Into the Woods. Into the Woods is kind of like a Grimm's fairy tale take on the said fairy tales. Um, it stars Meryl Streep, James Corden, and uh, a host of other people that right now their names are escaping me. Um, but it is very cute. Uh, it's a little dark for littler children. They may not um, get it or they may get a little scared. But it's, it's very um, done very tastefully. I, I enjoyed it. Um, it... <laughs> what are you looking at? Um, it is, it's very tasteful. It's very entertaining. Um, Meryl Streep is one of my favorite actresses. And she is phenomenal in this movie. Um, love the movie, love all the actors and actresses that played in the movie. It was, it was just really good. I would recommend if you watch it and you have little ones that you, um, keep an eye on them because there may be parts that might be a little scary, um, a little bit that they don't understand, but I think all in all, entertainment wise, I think everybody would enjoy. Now I will let my daughter say what she thought. I definitely agree that there might be some parts that might scare a, a younger kid, but in general I think it's a really good movie. There's a lot of musical parts to it that I think the kids would very would enjoy quite a bit. I personally enjoyed it a lot. It's a little long. I think it's about two hours or so, but I really enjoyed it. I think younger viewers would also enjoy it. Though, like my mom said, there might be a couple parts that might be either the kids wouldn't understand or might scare them a little bit. But, I mean, definitely not as scary as movies like Coraline, which legitimately give kids nightmares. Um, so, nothing too bad to worry about. The next movie we're going to talk about is the movie Soul. And it's on Disney+, Plus. so any of you out there who have Disney+, Plus or know someone who does, maybe you can go over to their house and watch the movie. Um, 
it's it is done really the the animation is really cute I it wasn't one of my favorites but I will say I did still enjoy it I like the way that it was done um, there was some parts of you know were like okay you know I don't really particularly like this part but it was all in all it was a really good feel good kind of movie um, and it's kind of one of those where you kind of feel like you learn a lesson after you watch it. Um, it's it's very um, it's family oriented. I think that any anybody old or young would enjoy the movie. The animation's cute. The characters in the movie are cute. Um, you know, and you really don't have anything in the movie that is. Um, bad or or anything that I could think of um, at the top of my head right now but um, like I said it wasn't one of my favorites but I still enjoyed it now I will let Leslie tell you what she thinks I enjoyed the movie Soul and I think it was made to be a movie for younger kids and more family oriented but I don't think that was fully conveyed because yes, it was animated, so you assume kids movie. But, however, the lesson that you learn and the aspects and the whole feel of the movie, I really don't think a kid would understand whatsoever. Now, if they're maybe closer to my age or they're an adult, yeah, they would get it. But a younger, the younger viewers, probably not. And it was an animated movie, so you would assume, okay, probably for kids who are younger, like seven or so, but I really don't think a seven-year-old would be able to understand the concept of the movie. Is it cute? Yes. Could a younger kid, un like, enjoy it? Yes. Would they understand it? I really don't think so, unless they're wise for their age, which isn't very common, but I would suggest it for families to watch. Like my mom said, there were some parts that weren't necessarily my favorite, but overall a pretty good movie. Next, I will talk about The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So The Hunchback of Notre Dame that I watched was the original 1923 version. So it was black and white and a silent film. I really enjoyed it. I actually thought that the silent film aspect actually enhanced the feel of the movie. Because the feel of the movie is kind of almost mysterious-like. You don't really know much about this hunchback character. When we're first introduced to him, we're introduced to him being at the top of the bell tower, looking down on all the people dancing in the streets due to, due to the festival that's going on. And at first, uh, when we're introduced to him, we are given the perspective of the other people of Paris, which see him as just, quite literally, the king of fools and a monster, who is just, who, and all he is is that, because the way we see him, we see him acting like that. However, later on in the movie, we have a lot of character development. The character goes through changes. He's a 3D character. He goes from being what everyone sees him as to being a hero, saving Esmeralda. And I think the silent part of the film helped convey that in the idea of you almost could relate more to the character because he couldn't, because you couldn't necessarily hear what was going on, and in the description of the character that you get at the beginning of the film, which is basically rundown of what he's like, he is partially deaf, he cannot hear most of what people are saying, so you kind of get that, you get that same way. He, when all we hear are like the loud noises or the street noises of people yelling or legitimately hearing the bell, he you, we can't hear people talking, and neither can he. All he can hear is those loud noises. So automatically you're put in the perspective of the character. Some of your senses are limited. And I think that really helps 
you be able to relate to the character in that you understand as well. He can't hear very well. He can only hear these loud noises. And I really like that. Now, looking back at it nowadays, that's how you would take it. But of course, then it was silent films. The idea of having audio to hear people's voices and not just background noises was not an option. But even though that wasn't an option, they made it work. And I think it was really good. Now, all I'm gonna say is I did not like the ending. It was very sad. If you like older films, silent films, 1920s films, I think you'd really enjoy The Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's very, even though it's a silent film, it's still encapsulating. You still are able to be interested in it. Even as me, a young person who, for the most part, hasn't really watched any kind of silent films, maybe a couple here or there a long time ago, but for the most part, I've just watched like animated films and films from nowadays. I can still enjoy that movie from that long ago that's in that style. So I would definitely suggest it. And I think you guys would definitely enjoy it if you're into that sort of thing. Well, with that, we're going to say we'll see you later. And if you liked what we had to say today, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So anytime we make a new video, you could be notified. And we didn't introduce him, but it's this is our pup, Copper. He decided to join us today. So leave a light from for our dog. <laughs> <laughs> bye from Copper myself and my daughter. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.